Hi, I'm Miss Fung. Today we're going to look at position and average velocity. I really like this topic because we can see how things move when we use physics and math together. Before we start, let's look at some key words that we're going to use. So the maths is not going to be very challenging, but we're going to use lots of words and it might get confusing. So make sure you understand these words really carefully. First word, position. The word position means where you are, where the object is. Distance is how far you've traveled. Whereas displacement is how far have you traveled compared to where you start with. So it is the change in position, or in other words, the final position minus the initial position. And we can represent it using these symbols here. So S is for displacement, and it's X final minus X initial. X is the position. Let's do an example. Here I have a little toy. Oops, let me turn her around. She is a position negative three, and she walks to negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, then she turns around and she walks backwards. One, zero, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three to where she started. Now the position, well, it depends on when we're looking. If we're looking at a zero second, her position is at negative three or to the left of three to the left of zero. But if we looked at 12 seconds, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, let's just say that she's walking one step every second, then she's also at the same position. So at x equals negative three. If we ask, for example, what's her position at t equals three seconds, one, two, three, we'll say zero. So where she is. Whereas the distance is how far she's traveled. So let's see. Uh, so negative three to two is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So she's gone five that way and she's gone five back. So the total distance is five plus five, or in other words, 10. So recap, she's gone five that way and then she's gone five back, so 10 meters. However, the displacement is how far she is from the start. So displacement is how far she is from the start. Well, she started here and she came back here. So she is zero away from the start. So the displacement is zero. But how would you do it mathematically? Because we're going to need that for answering questions. So we would go final destination, which is minus three, minus the initial, which happens to be also minus three. Minus three minus minus three is minus three plus three, which is zero. Let me say that one more time. To find the displacement, we take the final destination. So final position, minus three, minus the initial position and that gives us whatever it gives us notice that it's different to distance so distance is how much she's gone so five and another five and displacement is where she's at finally minus where she is initially she ended up at the same spot so the displacement is zero but she has walked 10 meters memorize this because it's going to get a little bit more complicated Let's have a look at speed. Speed is the distance over time. And if you look before at the notes, at the keywords before, distance is this part here, displacement is this part here. So speed has to do with distance. So the speed here has to do with how far you've got. And we can represent speed by writing S equals D over, speed, sorry, is D over T. We can use S, remember what S was? S was the displacement. So we have 10 over 10, so it took us 10 seconds to travel that. So 10 meters divided by 10 seconds, she has traveled at the speed of one meter per second. However, the velocity is different. Velocity is the displacement over time. Remember that displacement was zero. So uh, we can represent the formula by velocity equals S over T because S is displacement. And we can see that for between zero and 10, her velocity is zero meters for 10 seconds, or in other words, zero meters per second. So have a rethink of this, what speed is, what velocity is. So the speed is very, oh, hang on, there's one more example. Between zero and five, so between zero seconds, so we start here, 
one, two, three, four, five seconds later we're at two. So the displacement between zero and five is two minus minus three is five over that five seconds. For between zero and five, the velocity is positive one meters per second. So we notice that this has no direction, whereas this has direction. Oh, there's one more example. Sorry, I forgot and I put in three examples. Between five seconds and 10 seconds. So uh, the character goes from one, two, three, four, five. So five seconds, she's at two, position two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the final position is minus three. The initial position is minus two. So final minus initial is the displacement over the five second period. So between five and 10 seconds, and we get uh, negative one meters per second. So the second half of the story, she's traveling in the negative direction. The first half of the story, she's going in the positive direction. But overall, she's gone positive and negative in the same amount. So that's why we have zero meters per second. Okay, let's, let me try it saying third time. So no, the speed is like distance. It has no direction, but velocity is like displacement and it has direction. See, positive one and minus one. It tells us which way she was going. Negative one this way, positive one that way. Whereas the speed is just overall how quickly she has done something. Let's have a look at distance and time graph. So we're going to redo that motion of her walking and I'm gonna replay it second by second and show you how you would draw it on a distance time graph. Uh, the positive side, we're going to let it be there to the right. So when she's walking to the right and the negative of the Y axis is going to be when she's walking to the left. So initially she started at position negative three or three away from the center. So to the right sorry, to the left, so she's down here, three away from the center, and she's walked in the first second to negative two. So it looks like that, she's walking towards, you can see she's walking to zero, and the graph is approaching the zero. And then in the next section, she walks to negative one. In the next section, she is at zero. So see, she's at zero. Now she's walking to the right of the graph. So here, in this second, she's walking to the right of the graph. And then she walks to the right again. And now she turns around, she walks towards the center. And towards the center. And you can see that it's now at zero, now at zero. She's walking away from the center in the negative direction. And away from the center, and away from the center. You might want to replay this section of the video again so you can understand. So she's away on the left side here, walking towards the center, walking towards the center, so center here, away from the center to the right, away from the center to the right. She turns around, she walks to the center again, walks to the center again, and then walks all the way past the center to the left. So this I've just color coordinated so you can see each step, but in reality it will look more like a curve because things don't move and suddenly stop and move and suddenly stop then move and slow down and stop and then move and slow down and stop example one consider a lift starting from the ground floor moving up to the top floor so we're ground floor moving up to the top floor stopping then coming down to the fifth floor at the time shown on the diagram so let's have a look at the diagram so it's 150 meters tall ground floor a time zero and then it goes up reaches here after 14 seconds stops for six seconds because it's 20 seconds there then goes down and after 25 seconds we're at the fifth floor which is 100 meters from the top part a the total distance traveled by the lift so it's gone up 150 down 100 so all we have to do for distance is add that up so we get 250 meters the displacement after 25 seconds so after 25 seconds, we do final minus initial. So after 25 seconds, we are 50 from zero minus, well, the initial is zero. So we have 50 meters. What is the average speed? The speed is distance over time. So 250 over the total time, which is 
uh, journey of the designing where that is 25 seconds so at 250 over 25 is 10 meters per second and the average velocity is the displacement over time so 50 over 25 so 2 meters per second in the positive direction because it's positive um, or you can say up Example 2. Use this position time graph which shows the position of a particle x traveling in a horizontal straight line at any time t to find the following. Now even though it looks curved, the thing is traveling in a straight line. Remember when the little doll went forward and backwards, the graph looked very curvy. So the graph is saying how she, she's going fast and slow, but even though it doesn't look like a straight line, the person is traveling in a straight line. Um, so where the journey started, so it started at 10 away from the origin. In which direction has it moved initially? So it started at 10 and it became, so let's see, 5 away and it became, so it's coming towards home or towards the origin. So between 0 and 2 seconds from here to here, it is moved to the left, so towards the origin. So remember the graph before, if this is, let's say this is the middle, then when I'm moving, if I'm 10 away and then I'm moving in the first two seconds, at two seconds I'm 10 away, then at two seconds I'm five away, I'm moving towards the left. Okay, I'm 10 away, moving towards the left. When and where does the particle change direction? Well, at two seconds, what happens is from two seconds to four seconds, four seconds is 20 meters. So at two seconds I'm here and then I turn around and I'm going to 20 meters away to the right again. So let me recap, you can this graph. So here, this is the origin, so the middle, and the person is 10 meters. So on this side, 10 meters, and it's going for the first second, second second, at the second second, it's at from 10 meters, it's moved to the five meter point. And then at two seconds, it turns around. At three seconds, we can see that it's back to roughly 10. So back to here. And at four seconds, it's 20. So let me recap. So this is the zero point, 10 meters away. Zero seconds, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. Let me show you again. 10 meters away from the origin. So at zero seconds, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. So it's doing this. Okay, when, uh, when and where has it changed direction? At two seconds. When and where does it finish its journey? At four seconds, which is 20 meters away. Oh, at x equals five, we forgot to put the position for part C. Oh, that's supposed to be a C and D, ignore the letters. So when and where does the particle finish the journey? At four and 20. When and where does the particle change direction at 2 seconds and 5 meters away? So consider between 2 and 4. So we're looking just between 2 and 4. So just this section of the graph. The velocity of the particle, is it positive or negative? So between 2 and 4, I put my magic pen on it. We can see that it's going up. So it is a positive gradient. So the velocity is positive. Now is the particle speeding up or slowing down? Okay. At 2, we can see that the gradient is 0, then it's becoming more positive at 3, and really, 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 really steep at 4. So the velocity is going from 0 to really, really fast. So it is speeding up. So increasing in gradient means increasing in velocity, or what we like to call it, speeding up. Example 4. A ball is projected vertically upwards from the top of a building 25 meters high. Its position relative to the ground is given by the equation x equals 25 plus 20t minus 5t squared. Before you continue reading, let's take a moment to understand these types of questions. So, so far, you should realize that we do two kinds of questions. The, the one where the particle or the person or whatever it is, the object is going horizontally, where this is positive, this is below the negative y values, positive y values, negative y values, or if we're going up and down, like the lift example before and this example, where this is positive and this is now negative y values. Oops. 
and in this case we start at the building is 25 meters tall we throw something up and it drops until it hits the ground so we're not throwing it this way we're throwing up and then it drops okay sketch a position time graph for the ball here it is now notice that we use x to represent position so it's in the y-axis and t is our time which is our x-axis please be mindful of that and get used to that so the greatest height reached so when was it the tallest we can see it's here at 45 meters when does the ball reaches the ground we can see that it reaches the ground at five seconds and when does the velocity of the ball equal zero that's when the gradient is zero we can see the gradient is zero at the turning point so at two seconds which happens at 45 meters and give an estimate of the velocity at which the ball is initially projected so initially is thrown out so around here so you would draw a tangent and you find the gradient of that line which is roughly 20 meters per second it, your answer might be plus minus maybe it'll be 21 maybe it'll be 19 that's fine because it's an estimate the tangent gives an estimate thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye